Well, I went through three batteries already. Get out of here. Three batteries and two cards. <laughs> What's up, Dave? Good morning. So this is actually the third, <laughs> third video on the same day um, because I'm not going to put them all together. It's just too long of a video. I want to keep you guys <clears throat> entertained and not bored. So what are we doing today? Well, today we're going to pull the spark Or the same day, out. I should say. Same day, same day, yeah. We're going to take the plugs out, prime up the oiling system. Okay. And then we're going to put them back in and fire it up. And do our first heat cycle. Can't wait, can't wait. I'm gonna start her up. And this is something I always like to do is take the plugs in there, so be care. If you see something, I'll shut it off quick. Twin cams will not because they need to sense compression to start. So here we go. Is it neutral? Okay. She's alive. Oh, I guess we need something like uh there we go. So the light already went out, but I want to do that again. And I'll show you. So what are you doing now? Just priming the oil? Yep. Yeah, we're getting the oil moving through the motor. All right, without lighting her up. That's right. I usually do this at least three times. This helps get the oil moving through the motor. Gotcha. Change the dry start. Sounds like a steam train. Yeah. <laughs> Locomotive. Yeah, this is the exciting part. So all you did was take out the uh, the two? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And the other two are still, obviously, they're still they connected. Like I said, sometimes these will fire when you do this. Mm-hmm. Um, like the cam jobs will sometimes. It usually startles you. The <laughs> twin cam will never do it. Obviously, there's no plugs in it. Mm. But if you crank over a twin cam without spark plug, it's not going to show spark. It's not sensing the compression. All right. And this sometimes gets enough compression to do it, to fire them. Even with the plug out? Yeah, even with the plug out. Wow. It's only happened a couple of times. Every time it makes me jump. <laughs> <laughs> so this video is just basically going to be a startup, right? And what did you say just to run it through a couple heat cycles? Yeah, yep. Yep, I'll stick my hand between the cylinder and wait till she gets warm and shut it off. That's your first heat e cycle. All right. The next time when I'm back, um, it'll be the dyno tomb pretty much, right? Yeah. Well, we got to do the clutch yet. Oh, right. You're going to do that. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yep. We got it. It's time to make Forgot it. about that. <laughs> yep. It's time to make the power. All right, you ready? I'm ready. See what happens. Alive. It's alive. It's alive. It's smoking. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it definitely has a, a deeper sound. Oh, yeah. 
but obviously it's going to sound totally different once you right. tune it, yep. right? Yeah. yeah. It's going to wow. feel a lot different. Wow. But awesome. you're the man. It started right up. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> nice. Wow. Really me? cool. Yeah. That air filter looks good on here too. Oh, yeah. It looks really good. I think it matches really well. Mm -hmm. Definitely with the offset to the machining on there. Right, right, right. Exactly. The black and this, the silver. You got the stainless element in there. Like this is cut out. That's right. So is this right here. A little bit here and a tip. Very cool. Kind of matches the fins a little mm -hmm. bit, like you said. So you don't run it long. You just want to start it. That's it. And that's, that's it. Heat, first heat cycle. Gotcha. I'll do that again another couple times. Mm -hmm. And then after that, I'll bring it around on the dyno and I'll do some real easy data collection runs with it where mm -hmm. I'm monitoring everything and make adjustments and let it cool down. And we do that a couple times and we let it rip. So let me ask you the whole dyno process, how many hours? Usually around six hours. Wow. Yeah. For it's one, not, wow. But it's not wide open fall. And that's a big Right, 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 right. People think you're out there just screaming, I think, for six hours. Straight. Yeah, no, right. No, right. I got it down to making minimal high RPM runs. Right. Because I learned long ago that Because there's a lot of adjusting. There is. There right. is. And my maps are pretty close. And you can spend all day making small adjustments. And you're not going to gain much power. Right. People who tell you you're going to change two degrees and gain 10 horsepower walk right out their door. They're wasting your time. Right, right. It's not true. You know, so it's, we get them close, we get the, the mixture's really good, and that's where it's just going to be. And I get the rest reliability, of Reliability, the ride, nice, yeah. right? The tuning's about the rideability. Right. So it's smooth, it's responsive, it's not yeah. clean. Right, right. You know, it runs cool, you know, it gets good gas miles. Right, right. The dyno runs, the high performance, the high power ones that, are, that give you the sheet, that's a gravy. Right. That's the gravy on right, top. Right, right, right. You know, so that's how I do it. Can't wait. All right, so I'll be coming back, bringing you the TTS module. Right. And I guess at that point, uh, maybe we could do the clutch. Yeah. I guess, yep. right? Yeah. Because yeah. that, that's the next step. I forgot yes. about that. Because you want to do the dyno. You're going to do it with the old tire. Yes. But, but with definitely with the new clutch. Yeah. yeah okay, yeah, awesome. Get that in there, get that all set. Fantastic. Thank you, Dave. Thank you Thank so you. much. Thank, Thank you so out. much. Thanks Absolutely. Sounded nice. <laughs> All right, guys, hope you liked the video. That was absolutely amazing. Friggin' Silverback started right up. Um, what a perfect job uh, by Dave. As you guys could see, he's so meticulous. Um, the whole engine is spotless. It looks like nobody even worked on it and um the guy just does everything the way it's supposed to be done so um give him a call you guys need something like this done big board kit or even just a tune or you have some work that you need done on your bike give him a call because you see the guy that he is and um, the type of work that he does it's impeccable and um, i'm super happy sounds absolutely insane it's much deeper but obviously it's not tuned so you know the real sound isn't there yet but you could definitely hear the bike sounds different like there's a beast um, underneath so I can't wait until he tunes it so here are the next steps I'm gonna come back next week I'm gonna bring him the TTS tuner which he uses uh, to tune the bike which I have in my garage I'm gonna be bringing that up and at the same time, what the hell was that? And at the same time, I'm actually going to be doing a video of him installing the um, Recluse Torque Drive Kit, um, the clutch kit. So I'm gonna do a video on that because he definitely wants that installed before uh, he does start pulling dyno pulls. And, um, and then pretty much he's gonna dyno the bike after that, tune it. I'll be back to let you guys hear the thing rip on the dyno and to show you guys the numbers. And basically pretty much that same day, I'll be taking the bike back home. So hope you've been liking these videos. I'm trying to really get you guys a lot of detail 
Um, stay tuned for the next one. If you can, give this video a like. Hit that subscribe button. And we'll see you guys soon. And I just can't freaking wait to get the bike back. All right, till the next one, guys. Peace out.